Hi folks, thanks for joining me. You can see I've got the chassis for the Zenith 6S229 on the bench. A few days ahead of fall, I want to go ahead and get the uh, tuning condenser out. And I'm just studying my uh, connection points that I need to uh, unsolder. And the uh, fasteners themselves that need to come loose. So I'll start with these four. And bring you guys back for an update. Let's see what else needs to be taken loose. I'm going to try to get this loose with my regular soldering iron. I may need to pull the uh, big guy out. We'll see. But they've actually wrapped this brass strap around the uh, hook right here. So uh, just to uh, keep things simple, I'm going to actually cut this right in this area. And then just uh, place a new band on or resolder everything at this point. I've got the uh, four connection points uh, loose for now. I think that's it. Let me get the uh, fasteners off and see what else needs to be removed to uh, lift the old uh, tuning condenser off the chassis. I'll have to study the schematic and look at things closer, but um, it looks like grommets were underneath these fasteners at some point. So I think I've got it. I think that's it. Less the uh, old uh, cord that was put on. I just heard the, uh, one of the flat washers fall off, which is no big deal. Let me just cut this dial string or cord that somebody's placed on. Again, this should be a, a belt-driven tuning mechanism. And get the two uh, dial lamps removed. And they're rusted up pretty bad. Let me uh, wiggle this thing around and see if I can pull it out. The flat washers I mentioned and a couple brass spacers as well. Put those off to the side so I don't lose those. It helps to get all the fasteners loosened. One here, one here, and then I miss one right here. And we'll go ahead and put the uh, nuts back on and the uh, washers. You can see the uh, spacer that resides in the center of the two flat washers. Kind of gauge here how the uh, chassis condition is. Use a, a few disinfectant wipes. Okay, the old chassis doesn't look uh, too too bad. I always like documenting what I find and uh, you guys can see the uh, tuning condenser the uh, front section being the oscillator section. Both are equal as far as capacitance for the most part 12 plates each. And you can see the range roughly 12 picofarads to 451 picofarad for the oscillator section and then uh, 16.3 up to 439. The antenna section of course has the uh, little trimmer on the uh, back side and you can see the uh, gimmick capacitor here as well that uh, goes around the lead back over to the uh, grid cap of the uh, 6 alpha 8 G tube. So um, pretty straightforward. I've ran it through the uh, rotation and it's uh, stiff. So a little cleaning is going to be uh, needed to uh, square that away in some lubrication. You can see the gaskets had better days. I'll reproduce that with something. Get the uh, pointer off, which is bent. Looks like that's actually just soldered on. I'm not sure if that's uh, done that way at the factory. Or at one point in time there was a, a fastener. Somebody's got a, a similar model. Chime in in the comments and let me know. Let me run this thing down fully closed. 
you need to see where the dial pointer ends up. Okay, right at um, 1700 uh, kilocycles. And uh, let's go back the opposite direction, fully open. Sorry for the shaky uh, video, just trying to do an up close here. You can see that the uh, dial pointer, the gold that's bent, is just held on with the uh, solder. So as you guys can see in the uh, picture in picture, I was able to get the sweep pointer off. It just pulls straight off. And again, the main tuning pointer, you can see, is uh, soldered on. Not sure if that was by design or not. I would say not. I should be able to bend the uh, tabs back at this point. Actually, ever so slightly. And remove the uh, dial itself. I'll give the old dial scale a good cleaning. Do a scan at uh, 400 or 600 dpi. Upload the uh, dial face to scale. You guys can check the uh, video description for a link to that, just if you need one. You go ahead and get these other fasteners removed. Get this thing broken apart so we can get this thing soaked and start cleaning the uh, tuning condenser. Just for a uh, visual reference of how it's mounted, I'm going to go ahead and get this piece of mica removed as well. I haven't studied the schematic in detail. But you can see running from the antenna section, looks like a uh, shielded conductor. Seems odd for that period. You guys uh, chime in, think it's uh, original or has that been replaced? I think I'll go ahead and fire up the soldering iron. Go ahead and remove the uh, gimmick capacitor location here and the uh, what appears to be that shielded conductor. And uh, go ahead and give this thing a bath. Now to the uh, ultrasonic cleaner to uh, finish getting rid of the uh, remaining crud. But uh, she's nice and free now. Thanks for watching, folks. More to come soon. Mm -hmm.